Leandro V. Luxin was born in Silay City, Negros Occidental on August 15, 1928. He went to the La Salle College in Manila for elementary education but had to go back to Negros because of World War II. When it was safe, he went back to Manila to finish his secondary education in the same school and went on to study Prilo. However, he then decided to transfer to the University of Santo Tomas to pursue a degree in the Conservatory of Music as he was also known to be very talented in playing the piano. In another twist in events, he then shifted to architecture just a year before graduating. In 1955, he was commissioned by then Diliman Catholic chaplain Father John Delani, SJ of the University of the Philippines, to design a chapel that can accommodate 1,000 people. This chapel is now known as the Church of the Holy Sacrifice, which was the first round chapel in the country, where the altar is situated in the middle and the first to have a thin shell concrete dome. Yandro Luxin then visited the United States, where he met his influences Iro Saarinen and Paul Rudolph. After learning everything he could, he went back to his home county, where he was set to be commissioned for some of the most iconic buildings for both architectural and Design. Here are some of his most iconic work. The St. Andrew Apostle Parish is a Roman Catholic church in Makati. The proposal for the church started in 1965 when a group of residents in Bel Air, Makati wanted a parish for their village. He designed the church as a symbolic way of how the martyr St. Andrew died by crucifixion on an X-shaped cross. This explains the butterfly-shaped floor plan. Moreover, other symbolic features include its sleek tent-like structure and a giant chandelier that serves as halo hovering above the copper cross, which was created by another national artist, Vincente Manansala. The Archbishop of Manila in 1964 wanted to divide the Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish in Quezon City because it was too large for just one parish. They wanted to divide this area between north and south, where the southern part will remain part of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish, and the northern area will become the now Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish. Loxin's concept was inspired by the Filipino native hut called the Salakot, which is symbolic as the church will be dedicated as a monument to the Filipino right in the heart of Quezon City. On December 10, 2018, Father Antonio Yucapor filed a petition to declare the Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish as an important cultural property which was then granted by the NCCA on July 30, 2019. Expo 70 was World's Fair in Suta, Osaka Prefecture, Japan in 1970 with the theme Progress and Harmony for Mankind. This was the first ever World's Fair held in Japan. The Expo had numerous pavilions and was practically an opportunity for countries to flex their architectural prowess to the world. He designed a dramatic roof that sweeps up from the ground to symbolize the soaring prospects and progressive spirit of the Filipino people. Although small, the Philippine Pavilion was one of the most popular pavilions at the event. On top of that, our country also won the title of Miss International, which had a coronation at the Expo 70. Probably the most important cultural contribution of Leandro Luxin was the 88-hectare cultural center of the Philippines complex. It is comprised of numerous buildings including the Folk Arts Theater, the Coconut Palace, Film Center, and the Philippine International Convention Center. All of the buildings also follow an international architectural style including a square or rectangular footprint 
Simple cubic extruded rectangle form, broken horizontal rows of windows, and 90 degree facade angles, symbolizing the goal of the complex to showcase Philippine arts and culture to the world.